What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about some of my most recent sales on eBay and discuss with you guys the profit and everything about each item that I recently sold. Let's get right into this. So before we get into what I sold recently on eBay, I just wanted to explain why I make these flipping for profit videos on my channel. I absolutely love finding great deals and selling. Not only am I an eBay seller, but I do sell on Amazon and also local markets as well, Kijiji, Facebook Marketplace, and things like that. And I like to bring all of that to my channel and share with you guys everything from the stuff that I pick up at thrift stores or the deals that I find out in the wild to flip for profit. And for the most part, you guys absolutely love this series. So that's why today I decided to sit down and share with you my most recent eBay sales and talk about a little bit of the profit and other things with each item. Up first is a hockey card mystery pack. This is something that comes originally from my personal collection. Basically, I've been collecting since 2017 hockey cards and other things as well. But for hockey cards, not everything that I get out of eBay mystery packs, the dollar store repacks, and even boxes whenever I occasionally buy boxes are stuff that I really like and want to keep in my collection. So instead of me just holding on to it forever, I decided to start listing them years ago on eBay and I've been selling them here and there. It just recently that started to pick up. So I started to add more and more bigger mystery packs on my eBay store. So this one here is a $15 mystery pack that I offer and it includes free shipping and what you should expect to see with those ones is the first card is either a graded card, a rookie card that is a special rookie card, a jersey card, an autograph or something like that as the big hits. The next card is going to be a rookie or young guns card. The third card is going to be another inserts and then usually three base. Usually if people purchase a lot from me or multiple packs, I will include extra ones as well and even throw in a couple of my cheaper mystery packs that I have that are just 10 base cards per pack. So I recently sold one. It was $15 with eBay fees. That's about $13 I get to take away. Now, like I've explained with hockey cards before, whenever I sell my hockey cards on eBay, it's stuff that's been sitting in my collection possibly since 2017, and I'm just finally piecing it together in mystery packs and selling it that way. So I don't really know the profit margin, but I did get to put in my pocket another $13 from the hockey cards that I sold in this pack. The next item is another three mystery packs for hockey cards, but it's my lower end ones, which include 10 to 12 base cards. Now this one here, I allow people to basically mention to me what teams they collect. If I have enough to put together packs for their specific team that they collect, I will do so. For the most part, people absolutely love them. I sell them for $2 plus $2 shipping, but I do offer combined shipping. I think it's 50 cents for each additional pack that I sell. This buyer here decided that he wanted three packs. I believe all Toronto Maple Leafs, which I can obviously do because I do have quite a few Toronto Maple Leafs base cards. So I'll be able to do that. So I sold them for $6 plus shipping. That's about $5 in my pocket for this sale. The next item is from the first Xbox 360 lot that I purchased and I shared with you guys in previous videos that included nine Xbox 360 games, the Xbox 360 itself and a bunch of other things. This game was a Final Fantasy game and I actually sold it for $15 plus $10 shipping. I know I've seen for this one other sold comps and I believe I priced it at about $20 but whenever I was offered $15 I took it right away. For this one here it's about $13 that I made profit on this item and I can put that with the whole Xbox lot. I will explain that in the future video where I talk about profit for that whole lot that I purchased. So far I've made $15 back on my $70 purchase. Plus right now I have the Xbox listed on eBay. I think there's only two days left on auction and I'm having a lot of people bid already. So there's already profit made on it. And not only am I gonna be making my money back on the whole lot, but I think right now there's about $50 profit, but the auction is still ongoing. I'll update you guys in a future when that whole lot does sell. Next is another hockey card mystery pack on the lower end. It was one of the $2 ones, so he paid $2 plus $2 shipping. There's not a lot of profit with this. I think it's only $1.50. That's why I like whenever people purchase multiple packs, because I can curate it and 
put in more things that they want to collect. Whenever it's one single pack, there's not much I can do because I'm not making much profits. I'm not gonna go all out and ask them what they collect and try to go through everything. I'll just basically pick a pack that I already had put together and ship them that. So this item here was sold for $2 plus $2 shipping. And the last item that I recently sold on eBay is a DS game that I purchased in my 3DS lot that I did a while back. This game was Metroid Prime Hunters. Originally, I think I priced it at about $30, but I lowered it to around $25, and I sent somebody an offer of $23 plus shipping, and they took it. So I did sell this game, which I am beyond amazed because I was hoping to sell it now. Everything else from that lot that I did purchase, I did put on eBay as well. I have two other games from this lot. Plus, I also have the Nintendo 3DS, and I'm hoping to sell that for around $175. So right now, for the whole 3DS lot, I'm expecting to get $100 to $150 profit. I already sold this game for $23 plus shipping. That equals out to be around $20 to $21 profit for this game. That is amazing in my opinion. Being a Canadian eBay reseller is something that at times can be stressful because over here we do not have media shipping like you guys do in the United States. So we have to ship everything the best that we can, but also sometimes the shipping costs are way too high. So we do have to adjust our shipping costs on whenever we make a listing. So for example, a hardcover book, usually I will put the shipping cost for that around $20, which a lot of times makes people not want to purchase it, but that is how much it's gonna cost me to ship it. So I need to ship it for that much. Or if it's a book that's around $30, I'll only charge $10 shipping and then I will lose $10 profit on the flip but it does get to sell a little bit quicker. So these are the items that I recently sold on eBay. For the most part, most of these are not going to have tracking because they're not too expensive of items. Some of my more pricey items, if they're over 40 to $50 or higher, I usually add tracking onto them as well, just so it's a little peace of mind for me as a seller. Being a Canadian reseller on eBay is something that sometimes you do take a hit whenever it comes to shipping because we do not have media mail over here. Sometimes for example hardcover books we have to charge $20 shipping because that's what it's going to cost us and sometimes that means we won't make a sale as quick as if we were a reseller in the United States but regardless for me anyways all the stuff that I have to sell the books the hockey cards and different video games from the different lots that I've recently purchased to resell I'm getting a lot more sales on eBay and I'm really excited because that means a lot more videos like this for my flipping for profit series up on my YouTube channel so expect to see more of these videos in the future basically breaking down not only my eBay sales but the items that I find to resell what I purchase them for and what I'm expecting to get profit for them and a bunch of other stuff for eBay as well I will see you guys in the next video please Please take care. Peace.